it's a boy, we have decisions like, okay, do we circumcise his, his Johnny, his penis, his Charlie, his schlong, whatever the hell it is, or do we not circumcise it? And I get it, it's a complete personal choice, but I feel like I'm legit on the fence. Let me show you how pregnancy look on Tasha. She does not look pregnant. Tasha! Huh? Pregnant. <laughs> I'll show them how from behind you don't look pregnant. Oh. And then you turn around and it's pregnant. Alright, she was 129 last week. I'm going to say she's 131.2. I'm 130. Well, point, what is it? 7 or 6? 130.7. <laughs> you were 129.8. Ow. This is the most I've ever weighed in my life. Your temperature ain't done yet? I'm trying to figure out. It's probably mixed up with my deodorant that I put on today. Ew. You said you don't wear deodorant. No. So. Yes. How have you been feeling lately? It's so uncomfortable to sleep. Aww. What's funny is I felt like as soon as I got home and you touched me, like you knocked out. No, I, I felt okay. Honestly, you knocked out as soon as you okay. felt my foot. You were like, I felt more. I feel more comfortable when I sleep with the pillow between my leg, and I swear that's the only way that I'm comfortable. And last night when you were at work, I was like tossing and turning. Everything was hurting. As soon as you came home, I didn't even have the pillow between my legs. I just had my foot on top of you, and I was like knocked. Out. You were knocked out. Eating good. Mm -hmm. Sleeping no. Not <laughs> I feel like as soon as I got to 36 weeks, the baby apparently feels like, okay, cool, we're almost there, uh -huh. and now everything hurts. Oh. <laughs> like, when I'm trying to sleep, no matter what side, like, one sense. side of it gets numb, yeah. so I have to go to the other side. You're so gentle. No. <laughs> yeah. You don't push right, right there. You yeah. push on that thing. She's right on along with her dates. Every single time, the child is growing. <laughs> Yo, Tasha was talking so much like 10 minutes ago, but she is knocked out. So let me find out. All she needed to do was just touch me to feel some type of comfort. <laughs> she was talking about how uncomfortable she was, but she is knocked out right now. I can't move my shoulder because all I've got is dead weight laying on me. <laughs> I was like, all right. You know you're my comfort zone, I was like, all right, okay, you know that. Whatever, as long as she can sleep. So that was our 36-week checkup. We'll be back again on Monday next week. Monday! I'll be 37 weeks. We went to a pediatrician appointment yesterday, so we were trying to interview or find a pediatrician for the baby. So the pediatrician we went to yesterday was like, Dumb far. When I put the GPS in from the house, it was like 50 something minutes. It felt like forever driving in the boondocks. And we got there in like 30 minutes. No, we did not. We did. The GPS said that we were gonna get there at 5.33. We got there at 5.28. Okay. So 5.28? Mm -hmm. So that means you said you got there how many? They said the GPS said it took us 53 minutes and you got there five minutes sooner. So that means how much time was that? Like 47? You're doing it, see? I 48 told you, minutes? I told you though. What? You're doing it. Doing what? We have petty, stupid arguments <laughs> or debates. It's hilarious. Like, you over here making up numbers. We got there but 30 you're still, minutes. You're still Bro, you got there 48 it. minutes. It doesn't matter. It's still why, far. Why is this a discussion? <laughs> My thing is just that she's just really, really far. That's it, man. Other than that, I liked her. Yeah, but you don't want to go off of like the first person. Too. I know. Like, you liked her because you don't have anything else to compare it to. We had a discussion yesterday because... What happened? Yeah, go ahead, let them know. Oh, we had a discussion yesterday because I wasn't even sure how to, um, like, figure this out. When you're having a baby, it's like, it's crazy how much decisions you have to make. And I'm just sitting here like... Bro, you just get pregnant, you push out the baby, and you just feed it and put clothes on it, and it's fine. But then the baby gotta go to school, the baby gotta get checked up, the baby gotta do all of these things. If it's a girl, of course, like, it's not gonna be as complicated. Not that it's complicated, just but then if it's a boy, <laughs> bro, can you let me talk? But if it's a boy, we have decisions like, okay, do we circumcise his, his Johnny, his penis, his Charlie? his schlong, whatever the hell it is, or do we not circumcise it? And 
I get it, it's a complete personal choice, but I feel like I'm legit on the fence. Majority of the times people choose to do it or choose not to do it is because they want to mimic their father. There is no difference having skin and having not skin. Like it really makes no difference. <laughs> I've seen both of them. Whole moment. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've seen both of them and Hashtag when and when it's like when the Charlie had it don't matter. Like it really does the same thing. It feels the same way. At the end of the day, they don't they they're just dealing with what I what my decision is. Just like you had to deal with whatever decision your mom made. Because it really there's no beneficial factor to it and it doesn't do anything. I actually so, saw a billboard about like circumcision and it was guys like I didn't get a choice. But I was just like I, I didn't know it was that big of a deal. Like, I'm pretty sure a guy that's uncircumcised is like, whatever. Versus a guy that is circumcised is still like, whatever. But it literally was a billboard of like six guys holding up their baby pictures and it says, I didn't have a choice. Stopcircumcision.com. Wow. I'm saying, like, I don't want to make this, make this decision and be like, yeah, let me cut your jolly. And then when they grew up, it's like, why? Why you and I didn't want to not do it and then it's like oh well dad's penis doesn't look the same as mine which brings to another thing because it's like they said the child might feel some type of way if their penis doesn't look the same as their dad's how many of your sons and their dads are walking around looking at each other's penises like I don't understand my penis matches my dad's did you do that with your dad I, I mean like I could see like how as a father you're teaching your son like how to pee properly and, and shake it off and stuff and I can imagine if I'm circumcised and my son isn't and it's like it's gonna be like but daddy you don't have to pull yours back oh well your mom um, just we, we decided just just shake it off properly and the thing is like same thing with me if the child is a girl or a boy whatever growing up I'm not piercing their ears from birth like they need to have that oh. choice themselves like when I grew up I didn't pierce my ears until I was 16 years old because I made the choice myself my mom didn't pierce our ears until you can make that choice for yourself to change it if you want to I don't have any piercings or tattoos I left my body the way I wanted to keep it exactly uh Hair in your ass and everything. Hair in your ass. Fuck you. But anyways, yeah, that is the dilemma that we're trying to figure out. But hey, you might not even have to worry about that if it's a girl, so. Otherwise, um, we enjoyed the pediatrician visit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah, so that's our 36 week update. We got four more weeks until our due date. And who knows how many weeks until this little baby is here into the world. You have any final words to say, ass monkey? You're the one that got an ass like a monkey. Um, any final words to say? Thank you guys for all your blessings and positivity. Super excited to introduce this baby to the world to you when it gets here, boy or girl. Um, and I want to send blessings back to you all. Like, I, I appreciate it. You know, we gotta keep the positivity going. going Circulation. Forward. Circulation. Mm -hmm. And find a way to pay it forward. Tell somebody you love them today. I love After you. After you watch this video, tell somebody you love I love you too. Tell somebody outside of your home you love them today. Okay? Say, hey, how you doing? I love you. I love you. I mean, not a stranger. I, I did. I said somebody outside your home. That's all I said. Got it. Somebody outside your I home. I just picture me walking on the street and just telling somebody, hey. I love you. <laughs> like, I be doing no, no, that no, sometimes. No, 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 we don't do that. All right, guys. I love y'all. Yeah. See you in my next video. I love us for real. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>